by the Shizong Chuang. And my final essay topic uh, for 2019 spring semester is Cause and Effect of America Civil War. <coughs> Intro. Um, in introduction, I'll mainly talk about some general facts uh, that is widely known uh, about the Civil War. Uh, for example, uh, famous battlefields like Gettysburg or engaged soldiers. How many soldiers were engaged, how many were died, or yeah, uh, something like that. And uh, some background of Civil War. Uh, some main conflicts that will pop up in the body. Uh, slavery, uh, about slavery, for example, distribution of slavery in the North and South, importance of slavery to North and South, a political difference between North and South, and different industries between North and South, and etc. <laughs> In body one, uh, I kind of changed my outline because I changed my final paper. Uh, body one was supposed to be the main conflict of Civil War, and in body one, there were political factor and economical factor and moral perception of state in North and South, but I changed it. Uh, my first body is going to be political factors. Um, some political factors that uh, start the uh, civil war, uh, like election of Abraham Lincoln, uh, states' rights that uh, the North claim that federal right, federal government is in superior <coughs> than states' rights, and some uh, compromises that try to stop the civil war, but it d r really did help a lot. For example, like the misery compromise, <coughs> and some bloody uh, bloody fights. Uh, before the Civil War, like Kansas, Nebraska, I don't know, no, bloody Kansas. Uh, yeah. And in my body too, uh, I will talk about the economic factors. Um, uh, it's mainly about the economics of slaves. Why the uh, anti uh, why were slaves so important to the South? And I'll explain about the major industry in North and South. Uh, the North were uh, mainly focusing on manufacturing industry, and South were mainly focusing on farming, especially cotton. The, uh, and cotton, cotton was why the South had to have so many slaves, because it required a lot of labor. And real uh, estimation about how valuable the slaves were. Uh, and some funny facts that federal government attempted to buy the slaves, but it, were, it was so expensive that they couldn't buy it eventually. And body three is about aftermath of the war. Um, after the Civil War, there were construction in the South, and it was a big, it, the, this war was the biggest loss of soldiers in the whole United history. About 600,000 and 800,000 soldiers were no, dead. Uh, however, there were some positive effects. Uh, 13th, 14th, and 15th constitutional amendments were uh, made between 1865 and 1870s, uh, and and these amendments primarily dealt with issues of American uh, African American slaves and people of in color. <coughs> uh, in conclusion, I will just briefly uh, summarize about the things that I wrote and some pros and cons and to go further uh, what the, what did these affect in uh, recent uh, present days uh, for example like uh, 
they were set free at that time, but they weren't really set free, and these uh, civil war spirits were lit up again a hundred years later by black movements and things like that. Thank you for listening.